Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome all. Uh, it is October the 14th. That's right. It's uh, the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync. Um, and I am Alan. Uh, I'm going to uh, run the meeting to some extent as best I can. And um, yeah, so if you're here, please put your name on the attendees list in the uh, notes document. I am just going to paste that into the chat so you can see it. Um, and if you haven't already, then please, I think most of you already have, which is great, uh, please add your weekly update for async review uh, to the bottom of the document. It's the last, uh, last heading, basically. Um, and that's for people to take a look uh, outside of the meeting at what you've been up to, uh, what you've done last week, what you're blocked on, and what your plan is for this week. Uh, and we'll do that um, asynchronously. So we won't go through that in this meeting. Um, but now what we do usually uh, is uh, go through our initiatives and um, get an update from people on what's going on. I have, I've been off for about a month, so I have very little to contribute. So I'm hoping you're all going to step up. <laughs> uh, but yeah. All right. Cool. We've got a note taker. We started the recording and yeah, we're good. Let's go. Notes. So initiatives, the upgrading the release process. So Stephen is out this week, I believe. Um, but Alex, as you've been running the JS IPFS stuff for releasing and making it better, uh, whilst I've been away, would you mind uh, giving us a short update on JS or what the status for JS IPFS uh, release process is? Yeah, sure. So we published RC0 for JS IPFS 38. Uh, that's super good. All the stuff that we wanted to get in is in. Um, we also added uh, automated testing for all of the examples because uh, testing them manually is super tedious. And, and who likes to do that? Literally no one. Um, so now they'll run in CI every time you uh, push anything to a release branch. Uh, we can actually make them run on PRs as well. Like there's no reason not to because the machines do all the hard work and, and they don't complain. So, you know, maybe we'll do that next. Um, there is been, there's a little bit of weirdness around uh, block RM, uh, which is going to be fixed up by a PR that is passing in CI now, but awaiting a, a change to pull ND JSON from David. Um, I'll stick a thing in the notes about that. Uh, but yeah, super good. So the next step for that is to um, add the testing of the external repo. So we've had the, the code in Azure to do that for a while. Uh, and we've been testing our internal external repos, but now we're going to start doing third party things as well. So running the test for IPFS log and orbit DB um, and anyone who signs up for the early tester program, um, which is great. Uh, so the only, the, the only requirement that it has is the, the repos that we test have to have a dependency on either JS IPFS or the IPFS HTTP client. Um, and the automation will go through, look at the package JSON for that, rev it to, or link it to the, um, the pre-release test. So the first existing version, um, if it fails, then it goes, ah, oh, cool your tests are unstable and moves on. If they pass, then it actually links it with the new pre-release of IPFS and runs the tests again. Um, if the second time around, if they fail, then it will fail the build, basically. Anyone got any questions about that? So one of the, um, one of the things is like, if you, if you discover that you've broken someone's tests and you, uh, you write a, you, know, you you be a good citizen and you write a PR because you like you've done something you've released a breaking change and they need to do some refactoring and you know you you try, decide to be a good citizen and you write a PR that the change that does the refactor but it hasn't been merged yet um, like we can't have that then hold up our releases uh, so you know you can then say to Azure hey run this branch instead of running master. So we can run against PRs until they're merged, but like with the proviso that obviously once those those PRs are merged, those branches typically get deleted. So it's kind of a time limited thing, but it does unblock our release process and lets us get stuff out the door. That's cool. Um, I was wondering about, uh, so they are only run on a release 
branch? How does it know that you're on a release branch? It's got the word release in the branch name. You have to put release in the branch name. Yeah, so okay. it's release slash and then the version number. Um, so there are uh, new commands that have been added to Azure that, that does this for you. So you just say Azure release RC and it will create the release branch for you um, along with lock files and, and all that kind of stuff to make you build repeater. Nice. Can we can we get some links to the those what the new things are um, in in the notes? Um, and then my, I had a second question, which was uh, the projects that are being run, the external projects, are they only projects from the early release? The people who volunteered to be early release testers. So I I took the list of projects from the um, release template. Uh, which has like, you know, peer pad and like NPM and IPFS and, and all that kind of stuff. And then we had, and then as well as OrbitDB and IPFS log, and then um, had a bit of a call for contributors, um, not contributors, a call for early access testers. Um, and we've got one other, one other group who've, who've joined in, which is cool. Um, and that's merged. Uh, on, in, in terms of the commands that you run, I actually changed the release template. to just basically have like notes in it, like crib notes of what, commands you would run to do certain things. Um, so then that's what I'll link to. Nice. Um, yeah, so um, I guess the point that I was kind of alluding to is that, so the, when we release now, uh, we are dependent on, like if we make a breaking change and it breaks someone's build, then uh, like the external project has to catch up with us at some point, right? Well, um, we can, so we so can we, update uh, yep. if, like, if we break like if we if we break these people's builds then you know we're kind of saying we're not going to do that in future um which is why it goes into ci but then if we if we if we submit a fix and they haven't merged it yet then we can run our ci against the branch with a fix rather than running against the broken stuff so that we're no longer blocked yeah I, so I, the onus is on us to make the the fix if they don't do it um I guess yeah. this is the point. Yeah. yeah. I mean we can play it by ear. We can always um back the stuff out if it turns out to be Yeah, I, I I guess so I'm just more like voicing the this is the state of play and this is how things are now. Um and I just wanted everyone to be aware that that this is happening. Um, yeah, like one thing in particular, like PeerPad is in pretty bad shape at the moment. Um like the tests don't run at all. Well they, so the tests run and then the test runner fails after all the tests have passed, which is really tedious. And I spent like a day trying to whip it back into shape, but yeah, all the node tests pass, but then the browser tests don't run very well and Karma is doing its lovely job of obscuring all useful messages. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced I'm gonna spend a lot more time trying to fix that, but the test pass. Cool. Okay. Uh, and then the only other thing I wanted to raise was there was an issue, I think David opened for saying that he might think the release process is too long. Perhaps we should take that conversation to uh, a, a parking lot if we, if we have time at the end. Um, but uh, yeah, um, if you're interested in that, then, and you have feels, then go and comment on that issue. Um, uh, maybe I'll add it to the notes at some point. Anyway, Sorry, uh, does anyone know anything? So moving on, uh, does anyone know about the Go IPFS release? Last week we had a note to say that the, a new release had not made it out the door and it was scheduled. Can anyone speak to that? No, it was just, it's not, it's just the ongoing same news that Go IPFS releases are blocked pending test gotcha. ground. Gotcha, okay, all right. All right, in which case, let's move on. Um, Cool. Uh, upgrade testing infra and or process uh, is, so Stephen's not here, Jim's not here. I am here, but not, a, uh, nor is David. So let's skip over that one for today um, because uh, I can't speak to it. Uh, Lidl subdomain gateway stuff. Uh, IPNS in base 32. Um, I saw last week that the spec got merged and there is an issue tracking its implementation. Um, I was just wondering if there, like, if you had any updates on that, and like, is anyone assigned to it? And like, uh, I'm afraid no update this week. Uh, and basically, 
if I eventually clear my plate, I'll be picking this stuff up. Uh, but if someone feels like they need a distraction, that's a fairly small thing to pick up. How much food do you have on your plate? Oh, like it's a big plate. <laughs> a small feast? Small feast. Okay. Yeah, but it's like uh, basically we've, uh, we need to switch uh, lipid to p from uh, when they parse multi others, uh, the PRD, uh, switch it from being just a CIDV0 multi hash. Right now we use multi hash library directly. Uh, so the change is to uh, switch multi hash to, CI, to CID's library uh, in the backward. It should be mostly backward compatible because, like CIDV0 is effectively multi hash. That's that's about it. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, any questions or thoughts on that? It would be really useful for browsers. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. Distributed signaling then. Um, Jacob, last week that was on hold pending async await. I'm assuming still on hold? Yes, still on hold. Right. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, then uh, IP and Ness is Aiden or Hugo is here. Uh, so the, what is it? The, so last week we had a, a some information about a pub sub pub sub discovery being improved um does anyone know about that or have a link to a pr that they can put on there because i'd like to see it um and then the other thing was hugo i guess you might know ipns over dns spec is there a update on that no not this week nothing new on there just ipfs tests no Does anyone know about the PubSub discovery improvements? You guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I will attempt to fish them out or ask uh, Aiden uh, for them for APR to look at. Um, so then uh, upgrade, what's the next one? So migration to multi-hash keys in the block store. Um, that is, I don't know that there's a big update there. I think the actual migration tool that could do a, my, a repo migration is almost merged. I think Alex told me today. Um, uh, I guess the, the discussion point on that is um, if we were to change the block store to using multi-hash uh, for keys, we lose the IPLD um, codec. So when we um, use commands like refs, we end up printing out just multi hashes, not uh, not CIDs with IPLD codecs in them, um, and we kind of need a solution to that before we can move forward. Because I don't, I'm not sure I have, I'm not sure I have one off the top of my head. Uh, but if anyone has any thoughts on that, then um, we should, you should check out the. I think there's a pull request or a issue. Um, I'll try and fish that out as well and put it in the notes for you to comment on. Um, cool. Okay. Um, anyone else? Ha anyone have any questions or comments or things to say about that? Okay. All right. Uh, IPFS mount. Does anyone know about that? What is it? It's mounting a IPFS? Is it this fuse thing, uh, right? Okay. Um, I think the update on the last document was things are getting progress. So I was, I just, I need, I need a bit more information on that. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, uh, bit swap, bit swap. Bit swap. Hey, hey, welcome. Hey. Um, so, by the way, it's a holiday today in America, so I think uh, that's why there's not a lot of updates on some of this stuff. Um, with respect to BitSwap, I've been working on, uh, so I have a proof of concept that I've been working on for a while. And I've got it running fast now, meaning it, it doesn't take very long to transfer stuff, and it's consistent uh, across, you know, depending on how many leeches and seeds you have, it remains consistent across uh, those varying amounts. 
Um, so the problem is that it's sending a lot of duplicate data. So I've been working on that for the last last week or so. I'm hoping, hoping to knock it out today and tomorrow probably. Nice. Can you link to your pull requests in the notes, please? That's cool. All right. Uh, so back to the notes. Any anyone got any questions for Dirk on Bitswell? How close do you feel you are with the Bitswell things being being done? Your you've got you say you've got a work in progress proof of concept. Yeah, um, there's still quite a ways to go because we we need to get the testing infrastructure set up. Uh, so right now, you know, I've been mostly testing on an EC2 network that has very low latency. Uh, so we need to set up something to simulate the broader internet. Um, so I expect there'll be a couple of rounds of iteration after we do that. Right. And so because they are such big changes, you want to make absolutely sure that they're going to have a positive effect on the network uh, yeah. and you can only do so by uh, having a good testing environment for it. Nice. That makes absolute sense. Um, okay, um, cool. Uh, can we move on then? We've got the async await and refactor. Uh, Lib Peter P, uh, Jacob or Vashko, would you like to update us on, on what you've been typing there? Yes. So we don't have any new releases from last week, but we have a slew of things in progress. Uh, Vashko's working on refactoring all of the PubSub stuff. Um, the dialer upgrader refactor for libp2p internals is almost done. So it should be, should be hopefully done this week. Just need to sort out a few more tests. Um, and then we're working on some issues with WebSocket star. And then uh, we ran into some issues with libp2p UDP dependencies. That's going to require a bit of work to make that work properly with the new async iterators for streams. So we're going to punt on that as the UTP transport isn't currently used very much. So everything else is kind of a higher priority. So we'll punt on that one for now. That is basically it. Is it a option to not do the WebSocket star stuff? So, because relays? Yeah, we could potentially do that, but a lot of people are still using WebSocket star, right? So if we release the refactor, then it just won't work with it. Ideally, we want to sunset WebSocket star, but um, I think if it gets to a point where it's too much work to redo that, um, then maybe we'll find another path. One of the things that we talked about was, or I thought about doing was just changing the WebSocket star server to actually just be a circuit relay node that does like a pub sub peer discovery and then make like the WebSocket star transport just automatically bind that, that pub sub protocol as like a potential option to just get around using all of the socket IO stuff. But... Okay. Interesting. We'll see how long it takes me to uh, sort out the issues with the current state of things. Yeah. So I noticed that there's now like a Trello for the async await stuff for libp 2 p um, all of that stuff getting done. Um, that's, I think that's a really good idea. Um, do you mind linking it here so other people can follow? Yes. It is public, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and so then for, unless there's some questions on, on that. All right. So for JSIPFS, who'd like to speak to this? I can do it. So at least two things. Um, the um, interface core setup, basically, um, the hooks before and after the tests. Um, the way we we had it before, we had some uh, boilerplate code to set up stuff and then stop the nodes that we previously started. Uh, these this boilerplate boilerplate was refactored. It was moved into IPFS DCTL. Is all async await now. Uh, and you can see there the pull requests with all those changes. And also, uh, Pedro is working on moving the interop repo um, to async await. Right now, 
we are basically focusing on the first pull request, which is moving to the new version of uh, APFS CTL, which is already a sync await. Uh, we had some troubles. Even today, we were yeah, we had a debugging session, and we found some bugs. And hopefully, everything is figured out now. The tests are running, uh, and yeah, we are moving on. So the the new stuff. I don't know who's writing, but feel free to speak about it. Okay. So I've had the GS IPFS HTTP response that is refactored right now, and it is already merged. Um, and also, let me just check here. Um, I've also opened a PR for the um, uh, interface JS IPFS score. Uh, I will add this on the on the list also, and that's it for me. So I've um, got a PR open that converts the remaining files API to um, ASIC iterators, uh, following the pattern we established with with files .add. Uh, which is going to be super good when it goes in. Um, and that's just kind of like waiting for like the fixes to the block RM I wanted to put into master and then and then put the new stuff in after that because it would just simplify uh, cherry picking stuff to pull over to the release branch for 38. Nice. Thank you, everyone. Uh, also, hi, Pedro. Uh, I know you started working whilst I was away, so it's nice to... Nice to see your face. Uh, can for the um, uh, IFFS HTTP response, can I get a link for the pull request, please? Add it to the notes. Brad, thank you. Um, and uh, keep up the good work. Uh, we should chat sometime, but not now. Uh, all right. So uh, this week, uh, design review proposals. Lidl has a uh, a, a review proposal to. Well, it's a to very, very tiny, tiny thing on top of uh, last week's. That's why I, I believe like we, we also have uh, last week's. So there's this experimental spec for MFS-based co-hosting of websites. And uh, the new thing since I mentioned it last week is we started exploring uh, the capability of MFS to basically store lazy pointers to uh, some uh, data sets without fetching entire thing to your local node. So that basically unlocks use case when you are able to co-host a subset of Wikipedia, which is like 650 gigs. Uh, you could be like having it in your MFS, see it in your web UI, but just uh, effectively store only those pages you act actively visit visited previously. Uh, so that's just a, a quick update on top of that spec. If anyone is interested, it's a very uh, early draft uh, and links are in the notes. Nice, do you want to, you just want people to comment on the uh, PR? You don't want to have a set up a meeting or anything? Uh, no, no, it's mostly like an async discussion. It's very like relaxed, uh, the, the, it's just, uh, does not require changes to core API, so it's like side project uh, around uh, between uh, IPFS companion and IPFS desktop mostly. Got it. Nice. I like the idea um, from what I've read just then <laughs> and what you just said. Um, cool. Okay. Any questions for Lido before we move on? All right. All right. We're getting through it. We're almost done, people. Anyone got any blockers or asks? There's nothing there. At the moment. All right, good. Anyone got any questions? Uh, all right, uh, anyone got anything that you want to, would like to discuss that doesn't fit into other categories? All right, I'm very talkative today. Um, does uh, does anyone want to talk about the release process being too long? I think David was saying it's too short. And I said Alex it's too, long. it's too long. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, 
shall we talk about that then? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, David's point was that you know it takes a, a whole person for basically like the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, Does it? I, I, well, I don't think so. Like I really think. Well, it depends how badly we break things. Like we just make a rod for our own backs if we keep releasing breaking changes and we agree that we're not going to break the party repo anymore. Um, but like I, I just really think that we can definitely automate like as much as possible. Um, the time consuming thing was like checking out the repos, running the examples and all that kind of stuff. And now the machine does that. Because a lot of it I think is going to be, I mean, from the, from the release schedule docs, most of the time is spent like gathering feedback from early testers. Um, and we don't really have any at the moment. Like we've got, yeah, side tree and, and orbit, um, which is like obviously not the same position that Go IPFS is in because they have a lot of production deployments to manage. So I don't know. I mean, we can make hay while the sun shines, basically. Okay. I like. Um. Yeah. I. I would at least like to go through this myself. Um. One iteration before we decide on it. I guess. Um. Uh, I can't really speak to it, but um, if you think it's just right, Goldilocks, then. Um we're all good we can continue on that assumption i guess um all right um and then uh, uh, let's finish i guess are you are we all done um one thing before we go uh i did some leisure coding and um i wanted to share with you a thing that i made uh uh and uh, it's like to celebrate the fact that gossip sub got released in um in the new JS IPFS 38, 39, 38, yeah. Um, uh, uh, in, and it is just a chat application and it uses PubSub. And um, there it is. Install it on your web browser and you can talk to people using JS IPFS and PubSub. Uh, so uh, check it out. Uh, I'll put it in the notes as well if you're interested. Uh, but other than that, um, I'll see you on the chat thing because it could be fun uh, and I'll see you next week thank you very much for your updates uh, and it was really nice seeing your faces uh, and hopefully we'll have more um, more Go IPFS team uh, information next week do we normally Whoa. get anyone from the, the fire the, P2P, the Go lip P2P universe is that school? the infrastructure that's on fire <laughs> It's a good metaphor, yeah. <laughs> that is literally your your avatar. If you've showed it to us in real life, uh, I love it. Um, to answer your question about the Go Lib P2P, no, we don't usually get people from Go Lib P2P come. I don't believe, unless I'm nice forgetting. To, I'm pretty nice sleep deprived. <laughs> nice to Jacob to turn up. Jacob Vash get here. Yes, yeah, all the way, baby. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, let's not hang around any longer. Uh, thank you for sharing your fire with us, Michael. And um, uh, thanks everyone for sharing the updates and talking today. It's been really fun and I'll see you all next week for another exciting round. Bye. 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 Bye.